Um, hey guys, today we are gonna have a very nice tutorial about Shia Lude, and uh, trust me, this one is the best, and covers, uh, you know, the best uh, feature that Shia Lude actually has, which is a copy-pasting terrain from one map to another, which is just awesome. Any dis decent mapper should uh, know how to use that thing because it's very very useful saves you a lot of time and sometimes it even gives you very nice terrain without having to edit uh, anything so that's very cool best th this is the best uh, starting sound the Windows 98 one at least in my opinion it's just awesome Alright, gonna start a program that we all love. So, um, we're gonna make a very basic new map here. And, uh, you're not uh, gonna maximize, it, uh, maximize this because we're gonna cut, try to cut paste terrain. So, first, open the map uh, that you want the terrain from. We're gonna choose a random map here. Make sure it's a uh, the extension is a uh, dot map or not uh, sh2 or s sh shm, because those don't work with uh, those are not the maps are something different that we are not gonna talk about now. So uh, let's just open this one, which is uh, by mistake <laughs> by or by. It's very cool. It's just Amania Erg, most uh, played map. It becomes very boring after some time. So uh, let's say we want to, uh, you know, copy paste the. Um, I don't know. Let's copy paste this uh, bottom, uh, this uh, top left part. So first, what you have to do when you are want to copy paste terrain, probably maximize the thing because you want to uh, select as much as possible. Then go to the select mode click it and uh, you know just drag and drop the terrain that you want make sure uh, edge scrolling is enabled from uh, the options menu if you don't know how to do that I have a tutorial about basic uh, options in Shia Lu. so just make sure you cover ev everything here doesn't matter you uh, get some parts of our things because you can manually delete them after you have pasted your terrain so now uh, hit uh, control C which is a copy in the windows you know then probably you have to minimize this one go to your uh, new map that you want to edit hit select mode uh, put the cursor any anywhere you want this terrain to be and uh, hit paste which uh, is a control V and you just got your terrain here very very cool now of course uh, you want to put it uh, like it was so to the bottom to the top uh, left and boom we just ca we just uh, have our very very cool terrain here and guess what we didn't need to work on it more than maximum one minute maybe uh, till you decide which map to get terrain from that's uh, uh, that takes much time maybe but copy pasting is like a matter of seconds so it's very very effective when you don't have time then as I told you just remove uh, stuff you don't need or you accidentally copied from the other maps so um, I guess I that pretty much explained anything you can uh, copy paste everything including uh, spies and rocks and uh, uh, worm spawners so Listen, let me show you. We have uh, many things here. Control copy uh, or control C, which is copy. Now select mode and boom. We got everything we uh, we selected on the other map. So uh, very very useful. You can uh, I either you can either back up uh, maps. You know sometimes Shailu doesn't save the maps after some time because I guess it's just a bug or something and uh, if you close the, prog the program at that uh, point you 
either get a, a corrupted map or the saves uh, or nothing saves so you can how to back up that thing you can select the whole terrain of the map scroll down control C and paste it to the to your uh, new map this one uh, exceeds oh yeah I forgot this uh, exceeds the map limit I just crashed the program because uh, the terrain was bigger than the map size so let's just but I think you got the idea you just uh, copy your uh, terrain there and uh, after that imagine uh, just imagine uh, that here is uh, some terrain this is uh, the map this is the map we want to we wanted to copy now just uh, hit save as and make sure even if it were or not I, I don't re really remember make sure it's not all files because uh, that can uh, make lots of problems and can corrupt the map even if you save it properly like uh, uh, dot map which is the extension don't try uh, to avoid saving as all files because sometimes it corrupts your map so make sure you always go to uh, Dune 2K format and now just save it and boom we have this uh, error which is uh, more than okay unless you are making skirmish maps you definitely not you definitely don't need to fill in all these information except for the warm count if you are making uh, mission files you need to get this to 3 Oh no, to at least one. So you need at least one worm on your map to uh, for your mission to work properly. And uh, pay attention, I said mission, not uh, skirmish map. All right, I kind of um, went off topic on the last minutes, but it's uh, really useful to know how what to do when uh, your Shia loot program does not save stuff. So how do you know if uh, Shia Lu doesn't save? I'm gonna try to explain it very fast. So you have your map here, and then you hit save or save as or whatever. Or better, let's just open a, an existing map. So uh, you just add some more bullshit here, and hit save. You see this error message. So that's uh i um yeah when you're getting that error message that means it actually worked so it's kind of weird yeah i know but getting that error message means that childhood did save properly the map if you are not getting that and uh, you did not uh, fix all those things about player starting locations worms spies blooms and whatever it uh, mentions there then your map did not save properly and you have to uh, back up it with the method I just mentioned. So sorry for the spam on the last three minutes or something, but trust me, it can save your ass because you don't want to start mapping again a map that worked like one hour on it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm uh, going to, probably my next tutorial is about activating maps that you make with childhood for skirmish play in... Uh, the game menu because just pasting the map on in the maps folder will not activate it so you won't see it you in the game you won't be able to play it you ne you actually need to edit some more stuff to get it working so probably my ne my next tutorial is going to be about that all right guys thanks for watching and uh, see ya later with more stuff <laughs>